Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna show you this solution, a very powerful B2B data platform called Zoom Info. In this video, I'm gonna show you the key benefits and features of Zoom Info and how we can change how you find and engage with your target audience. So let's dive in. You can see my screen right now. I'm about to create the integration between Zoom Info and my client's website. Here on websites, you can enter a URL, which is one of your domains. And on the next step, you see that every page of your website that contains the word contact, blog, solutions, Zoom Info will capture information on those pages. And if we go next, you see what information we capture in this case. All we want here is the company ID, the name and the city. That's enough for us to start with because Zoom Info has extensive information about these companies, employees, and a lot of things that's going to probably blow your mind. So I'm going to click on next. And now I need to copy this script and add to my Google Tag Manager. Here, I'm gonna go to Tags, can just click on New. Here, we're gonna call this Zoom Info Website. I'm gonna choose a custom HTML. I'm gonna paste this here. And now I'm gonna trigger in every page. Save, submit, it's publish, new. And there we go, we have this version published and we can go back to Zoom Info and publish this as well. Right now it's integrated with the website. Google Analytics is also part of this integration. And soon we'll be able to verify the script and this is going to be working just fine. Basically, Zoom Info allows you to uncover detailed information about companies and contacts in an instant. And I'll show you how that works right now. So for example, if I go to intent, I can see some topics have been selected. So these are all topics that we're tracking. Logistics, manufacturing operation, warehouse operations. In here, we can see the companies that have been looking for this. So all these companies here, they have been looking for either logistics, either manufacturing operations or warehouse operations. So we're already narrowing down all these companies based on what they're already searching for on the internet. And there's way more things that you can do. For example, on company, you can try to find companies who are Fortune 100, Fortune 500, Fortune 1000, Global 500. So you have all these filters available. You can filter by industry, company name, how many employees they have, and even how they do business, B2B, B2C, if they're public, if they're a nonprofit, government. So these are all things that are available. So you can try to find the best target audience and after you have this information, you can target them by email. You can target them using campaigns and Google ads, LinkedIn. You can gather all the most frequent job titles, for example, job positions and target them on LinkedIn. So these are all things that you can use. Nowadays, information is like oil. So important to have information in this tool would, would definitely, definitely help, help you with that. that. One of the things that's great about this tool is that, for example, you found a company. Let's just choose this one. And I can see employees within this company. So I know Next Tech. I can see their phone number, their social media pages, and I can see all the contacts that they have information. Here, I see the CEO. I see the managing director, the director of sales, the director of technology, director of human resources, and the general manager. So oh, these are information that we can capture. You can create lists based on industry, based on search intent, based on attributes, the ones that I've showed you. So these are all things are very powerful. And what I want to show in this video is that it's not only having the information because we have this contact us form. And for example, if I put my personal email, it gathers the information because it's already saved on my Chrome. But if I do my company email, you see how we was able to gather information. This And this is all running on the back end. You populate an email, it gets all the information about you that they have available. So they got the company name, they got my job title, they don't have a phone, but if they had, they would populate here as well. So this is how powerful this is. And this is just the iceberg because right now what I'm working on is I'm creating several hidden fields here on this form using Elementor because I'm able to bring all these fields to the system. I don't know if you see this, but on my list, I have business email, first name, last name, middle name, full name, and that's all normal. We already captured the information here, but they are able to give me management level, department, content accuracy score, accuracy grade, the score in the grade, you can get it from right here. And what this does is measure their interest. So the higher the signal is, the more interest they have. So these are all fields that I can add, marketing budget, 
industry, company zip code, country, state, city, street, SIC code, number of employees, revenue, and a lot of information. And that's one thing that's really nice to have is that you can also get your free email or supplemental email. What does that mean? So you have your company email address and you also have your personal email address. Zoom Info is able to match those. So when we add this as a list to a Google Ads, for example, or LinkedIn, you can create a list of personal email addresses and also company email addresses. And of course, the more you explore, the more information you will have. So we can see the employee growth rate. We can see how employees are separated by department within this company, how many locations this company have, all the employees. And of course, if you click on the employees, you can actually see their information. I have clicked on this guy. I can see the phone number for the headquarters. I can see his email. So can you imagine what you can do getting an email list from here and start like an email sequence. Let's talk about the bad part now, which is the cost of this tool. This tool is an average between $1,000 to $3,000 a month. So we're looking at least to $20,000 a year using this solution. But if you can leverage this, it's definitely worth it. The amount of information you're going to have using this tool it's just mind blowing. And as you know, a lot of companies sell lists so people can buy to target them using emails, ads, but Zoom Info is able to provide you templates of emails, of campaigns. They give you like copywriting suggestions so you can target those people based on their intent, based on their industry, based on the type of company they are, for example, a Fortune 500 company. So you have all the tools to make this work for you. Zoom Info can be integrated with the most popular sales and marketing tools, including CRMs. You can easily import information from Zoom Info to your CRM if you have all the fields. One of the things that I'm working on for this client right now is to create all the fields that I have listed here. I'm gonna add those to the CRM. I have also need to add those as hidden fields on this form so we can capture this information and send straight to CRM after someone fills out the form. This feature on Zoom Info is called Form Complete. And if I click on one of these, for example, the Zoom Info feature that's responsible for two out complete forms is called Form Complete. This is so easy to be set up. You can do auto mapping or manual mapping. Basically, what you do is type in a URL and then you're going to select the form. You're going to map the fields. And from there, you'll be able to capture information from Zoom info and straight your CRM. And if you don't have a CRM, you can still store this information on WordPress or Google Sheets, whatever you use to manage your contact. Let me show you guys this example. Right here, we have an example of a contact us form. So here you can see how I mapped the fields. Really easy to be done. All you have to do is to click on add field. You choose the field from your form and then you choose the field from Zoom Info. This is very straightforward, very easy to do. And then you click on next. And well, we have other settings here as well. So one of the things that Zoom Info does is even if someone leaves the form, you can still capture their information. Isn't that insane? And like I said before in the beginning of the video, this is not very cheap, but if if used correctly, it pays itself. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave the like. If you're not a subscriber yet, subscribe to the channel. What are you waiting for? And see you on the next one. Bye.